What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Autobot DevCon. A very cool figure, in my opinion. But before we go into deep detail with this figure, we're going to show off some various images of the packaging itself. So let's get it on, man. Let's go! And here we have Devcon fully transformed into his Cybertronian ship mode in a very cool alt mode indeed. Um, it's very accurate to the one that he had in the cartoon. Now, I don't know much about Devcon. The only thing I know about him is that he is an Autobot bounty hunter who appeared in one episode of the G1 cartoon. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, I mean, I, 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 I could do research on him and Tia Wiki. I mean, I have, I have done research, but uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much all I know about this guy. But, you know, he still looks cool to me. I, I dig his design. I really dig the alt mode here. Very, very cool alt mode in my opinion. Uh, some nice paint uh, all around him. Nice sewer paint and some red paint and all of that stuff. And uh, nice sewer paint right here on the front there. And of course, this can take uh, a, a blast effect, I believe. I think that's a, that's a blast effect post or something. I don't know. I've never tried, but um, but um, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the gun tip can hold a blast effect. I don't th I think this is a bit too big for a blast effect. So no, this this cannot hold a blast effect. So yeah. Um, now his gun is actually stored on on the uh, on the uh, the alt mode right here. So uh, that's pretty cool. And of course, you got extra weapons right here, which can be removable, like so. And uh, yeah, these are cast in blue plastic, uh, but painted over some with some red paint, which looks really, really nice. Looks very striking, in my opinion. Now, I'm gonna tell something to you uh, that might blow your minds. Um, <laughs> this guy is an extensive retool of Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class Blur. I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm amazed that this is the blurry tool. Like, what? This is crazy. Like, this doesn't look anything like blur, and yet this is a retool a blur. Like, um, I mean, when we get down to transformation, you can notice uh, some similar steps between the two figures. So, um, but yeah, very. It's a very uh, nicely done retool here. Well, like, ex so extensive. It just looks like a totally brand new mold like that's crazy a absolutely crazy my mind is blown <laughs> so yeah and uh, of course you have the uh, the red fins right here so which is pretty nice and uh, yeah I mean that's all pretty much the details for this figure you know doesn't look like much and all that stuff but but hey still a look still looks pretty good in my opinion but uh, but uh, let's uh, let's bring in a size comparison that's really important for this review right now and here we have devcon compared with studio series 86 deluxe class blur and as you can see they retooled like a lot <laughs> they retooled like almost everything like 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 that's 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 crazy like that's absolutely crazy um the only parts that I do see that they share, um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I think they share like this part right here where the hinge is for the, uh, the seat right here. So they do share that. That, that, that piece is in gray, so that they do share that. Uh, come underneath here. Um, they don't share this. This is uh, totally remolded, but they do share uh, this 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 piece right here. This arm. This. Uh, this 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 little little gray piece right here where the where the pin is, and um, I think they do share that. They they definitely do share that. The the, the that, that that yeah that is definitely being shared. The internal part of the uh, the figure. <laughs> um, they do share the feet as well, and uh, that's all there is. They share. Um, they probably share more in robot mode, but uh, but yeah they um they retooled like a lot like that's crazy like this is a very nicely done retool like uh, oh my gosh like you're you're holding you're like you're essentially holding the same figure 
but at the same time, it's not the same figure. <laughs> so when they do that, Hasbro knows what they're doing. They did a re they did a really great job with this one, and I'm I'm amazed. I am absolutely amazed. So yeah. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for the alt mode comparisons right here. And so, without further ado, let us transform Devcon into his robot mode. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna take off these accessories right here. Let's take them off. Whoops! And I dropped one. <laughs> so just take it off right here. Let me pick pick up that one accessory. Okay, got it back right here. So <laughs> I'll put these off to the side. This we'll need them. We're gonna need them later. So now. Let's just get down to the transformation here. So just untap the arms from the sides right here. Just straighten it out. And then you bring down the uh, this piece right here and just rotate this around. Just rotate that around, just like that. Bring that up. And there you have an arm all done. Do the same thing on the other side. Just untap, rotate, and then bring this open, uh, flip this open, and then rotate the hand around, and then bring that up. And then there you have the arms all done. So now with the legs right here, just untab the uh, the, the feet right here. Just bring this, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna untab this section right here. Just bring this over, just like that. And bring all this over, just like so. And just leave that for now. So now you have your clearance to open up this section right here. Unfold the legs, like so. They're on very tight hinges. Actually, I'm gonna the legs here but just unfold that unfold that and close that up bring the foot down and there you have a leg all done so do the same thing on the other side just straighten this up close that and then bring this down and there you have a le the legs all done and ready so i need to zoom out so you can see what i am doing so now whoops sorry <laughs> so bring the arms down just like so and then, I'm going to bring all this down, just like that. That will uh, clip into place. And I believe we're done. Uh, we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo, we are done. So there you have Devcon fully transformed into his robot mode. And I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, and I do think the blur mode, the bleh, the blur mold definitely works for Defcon. Um, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty, pretty cartoon accurate, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, I'm, I, I've, I, I've always liked this design for Defcon. You know, he's a, he's a cool looking Autobot right here. Very, very nice. Now I can have him displayed with his fellow Autobots. Oh yeah, and. Um, and I believe I do have the entire cast of that one episode of the G1 cartoon where he appeared. And uh, yeah, I mean, I have Devcon. You know, I also have the Earthrise Blue Streak figure. I have the uh, what, uh, I have Siege Astro Train. I have Legacy Blitzwing. I have Prime. I have Inferno. Uh, I have Perceptor. I forgot who else appeared, but I think I do have the whole cast. So if you do follow me on Instagram. Uh, there'll be a time where I take a picture of the uh, the robot mode cast for that G1 episode and and that would be pretty cool so uh, yeah and um, so do st do stay tuned for that so uh, yeah a very very cool looking figure right here so that's getting closer so we can take a look at the head sculpt it uh, it's a nice head sculpt very very nicely done uh, nice blue for the eyes silver for the face silver paint on the top of the on top of the head nice Autobot logo right here. You can see some more super details right here and all that stuff and of course the red paint on the legs uh, the the feet are made of the red plastic there's no red paint on the feet it's just red plastic so um, so yeah very nicely done figure here in my opinion very very clean right here I mean except for the fact that he has a he has a backpack but hey you know what it's the back I don't really care much about the backpack I don't complain about the backpack because it's the back and I don't display my figures like that so no <laughs> so yeah but but yeah all in all though very very nicely done in my opinion 
Now, as far as the articulation goes, uh, the head is, I believe, is on the ball joint. I am not entirely sure. Yes, yeah, on the ball joint, so he can rotate a full 360. He can't look up and down. Uh, the shoulders can rotate a full 360. He can move in and out. Bicep swivel, elbow joint, uh, 90 degrees of bend. Uh, nothing at the wrist, unfortunately. Uh, the legs. Bleh. He, has a, he has a waist rotation right there. Uh, legs can move up that far, can move back that far. He can do the full splits and a little bit of extra. Uh, he does have a little bit of a thigh swivel right here. And uh, he has a knee joint, about 90 degrees of bend. The feet can move up due to transformation. And there is some ankle tiltage right there. So he is pretty poseable. Um, unfortunately, he does not have wrist rolls, but you know, I don't really complain about lack of wrist swivels because I just don't care um, so yeah but um yeah yeah nice articulation right here so uh how does he use his accessories well you can you can go one or two ways um you can just give him um the, the regular gun right here if you really want to or you can just plug these in you can uh, you can just connect uh these three accessories together uh, and to make like a triple barreled blaster thing, you know, a eh? a thing you can do. That's the Evo Fusion. <laughs> or if you don't want to, if you, if you don't want to do that, you can just you know just plug in uh, these weapons on the backs of his legs. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It gives him some extra support, I believe. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do uh, because he's not gonna use those weapons. He's gonna use his main gun only. So. That's just me. That's how I'm gonna display my DevCon. So, um, but there is your toy. You can display them however you wish. So, let us bring in that important size comparison again. So, chop chop. And here we have DevCon compared with the Studio Series Deluxe Class Blur. And uh, yeah, um, again, they retooled like a lot. Like they they retool a lot. Um, so in robot mode, the only parts they share. Are the feet, the thighs, uh, these elbow joints right here, and again that waist piece right there, the gray piece, um, and, uh, and of course the uh, the internal part right here on the top right here, where the head is. So that is shared between the two. So, so my thing is that anything that is gray, that's made of the gray plastic, and you know plus the feet. They're, they are shared between the two, but the rest of them just completely brand new, like brand new tooling and all that stuff. And I think Hasbro did a really great job with this one. Like there's not a lot of parts being shared between the two. There's only like elbow joints, eyes, feet and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, they, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, they knocked it out of the park. Really, they knocked it out of the park in my opinion. So yeah. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. It just, just blew my mind. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Autobot DevCon. And uh, wow, I am, I am absolutely blown. <laughs> like, when I heard that this was actually a retool of Blur, I did not believe it at first until I looked at it closer and analyzed the figure and see what parts they, sh what parts uh, the two characters share, and um, the fact that they only share the thighs, the elbow joints, a little bit of the waist piece, and uh, the gray piece on the top here, and of course the feet. Like that, that yeah. <laughs> this is how you do a retool. Like this is how you do a retool right. Like. Retool a lot until it looks like a brand new character or a brand new figure um, Make sure that there's there's uh, there's like minimal amount of parts being shared And I think they did a great job with this one right here um, You know the robot mode looks good the alt mode looks good um, The articulation very nicely done articulation. Yes, he's missing wrist rolls, but I don't really care um, um, Transformation is nice and smooth. It's enjoyable. So all in all, it's just a very, very nicely done figure. And I'm glad that Hasbro is making 
characters that have like 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 that don't have a lot of screen time in the cartoons or in the shows or in the or in movies you know I, I'm glad that Hasbro is doing that and um, but yeah I, I will never deny Defcon's existence in my collection because he is such a nicely done figure and such a fun figure to mess with and you know all in all I'm, I'm just very very pleased with this one so um, so yeah now if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 10 um, I'm gonna give him a 9.5 out of 10 maybe maybe more color could break up the blue uh, a little bit here and there like maybe the hands could have been painted but you know but still 9.5 out of 10 very 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 nicely done in my opinion very well done so all right so uh, I think that's pretty much it so uh, I got this guy from Kaki toy just like Axel Grease and Beachcomber but if you want to get a Defcon of your own um, definitely hunt him around and, uh, and if you do hunt him around pick him up because he is that good so um yeah and I think that's pretty much it for today's video review so ladies and gentlemen if you are completely new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and while you're at it click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready and you can always check out my legacy reviews playlist for any videos I may have missed so I'll post links to that playlist in the description down down below and I think that's pretty much it for me to say so they have the Transformers let me say that again. <laughs> there you have the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Autobots Defcon. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out to all of one and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah! Greetings Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, Hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.